Honeyman will swing this into the box for Reese Burke to try and challenge Doherty's volley! He has finally scored! He has been waiting and waiting and he finally, on the left foot, lashes home and Greg Doherty, who said to us that he will score soon, keeps his word and brings Hull City levels towards Doherty. Right side, edge of the box now, looking to get towards the box here. Doherty, lazy run, shoots! Brilliant! Brilliant from Greg Doherty! Hull City are level! And what a moment for Greg Doherty. Scored on Saturday, scores again when we need him most. 1-1. One, one. I'll tell you what, what a finish that is from Greg Doherty. You know, looking at personnel on the pitch so far, the start of the second half, he's been the one who's took this game by the scruff of the neck and he's driving the team forward. And he just proves it there, there and then. Picks it up, he's got no right to get through the Lincoln City midfield or the defence there. But he just goes on amazing, keeps going with that power, with the pace, gets it onto his left foot and he buries it. In. From his man, Leiden, ball down the line for Honeyman, into the box, plays it low. Big chance straight away for the Tigers. Hull City take it. Greg Doherty inside the box, lashes home on his right foot. Perfect start for the Tigers. Before him, but the build-up play was fantastic. Great to see Crowley in that number 10 role, no drifting in field from this left side. You'll find a little pocket of space. Great pass from Crowley just to get him in behind the left back there of Swindon and he just fires it across and Doherty's there. One touch and just smashes it into the top corner. It's threaded through now for Keen Lewis Potter to the right hand side. He's chipped it up looking for Wilkes who cannons the post. Honeyman may still have the chance. Little back heel for Doherty and Doherty gives Hull City daylight. He might just have given them all three points but Hull City double their advantage. And it's, it's, it's a great finish from Doherty but I'm so pleased that we actually take advantage of an overload you know we've said many times that decision making process when you get in that final third when you've got a 3v2 or a 4v3 overload can you pick the right pass at the right time what a fantastic run from Keane Lewis Potter just to get in behind the Charlton defence and he stands the ball up Malik Wilkes heads it against the post it comes back out and Doherty's there to fire it into the top corner. Fantastic. He's got a couple to aim at further afield. Ball into the box. For McGuinness knocks it down for Doherty. First shot. And then a second. It's in the back of the net. Scores at the club, which gave him the foundations to go and kick on as a player. And he has just kicked the ball into the net from range to make it 1-1 in a game where Hull City have had very few chances, very few fortunes, but it's happened there. Hull City are level. How's that going to affect the next 28 minutes or so? We'll now drive towards the penalty area. Greg Doherty plays it left to Keane Lewis Potter, 20 yards out on the left-hand side, looking to make an opening. He's going to tee it up for Doherty. There's number three. Game set and match for Hull City. And Hull City have three again on their travels. They love scoring in that multiple.